Okay. Amen. Hallelujah. As I told you, this year we need to search the ways of the Lord and prosper. We need to search the ways of the Lord and see good health. We need to search the ways of the Lord and understand what he is doing for us. I told you last week that the world has already been planned. And there are so many believers who are struggling for nothing. And the earthly people, they have been judged already. Unless they accept Jesus Christ as personal Savior and Lord. Amen. I'm trying to be a Sri woman. The movie has yet to me. What she say we? And the baby for fruit be a ring for baby and baby. Then she say no. What she say no? Look we we. The we no so onye. Amen. To the mabri no be a offering resin. All the nigga bear one nigga me some Amen. We are getting to the latter days, and we are there already. And this is the time for those who call on the name of the Lord should be serious. Don't let this world that is about to be destroyed pull you away from God. I repeat, don't let this world which is about to be destroyed pull you away from God. The earth itself is mourning. Because even the earth knows that it has but a short time. Amen. So you, the inhabitant of the earth, need to understand the ways of the Lord and go the way of God unto salvation. Amen. In all that we do and say on this earth, the most important is where we are going. Amen. And that is what we need to work out seriously. We don't have to waste our time on unnecessary things. We need to be serious. I am you. Marabana and I'm you. I said, I was the one I'm a smart to form. Now, I'm bearing our pen. No, I'm going to be free. I'm bearing our free. No, I'm going to be free. I sometimes hear people say that today I don't think I'm well occupied so let me go to church. I hear people say that today I have nothing much to do so let me go to church. A time is coming. You will cry for church but you will not get it. Amen. The world has been planned already and I'm continuing today. Amen. We are see why she say we my home. Ma wo dey yin dey sum e urase. Na sum ni ye. O you be fam. I we are dey ladi why she say we. I told you last week. Last week I taught you that the world has been planned already by the maker himself. Amen. And because of wickedness, he has planned it according to the habit of the inhabitant of the land. And out of that, he is saving those who take his word. Now, I want you to read from the book of um, Revelation, chapter 3. Pastor, let's read Revelation, Revelation chapter 3. And unto the angel of... No, 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 no. You just read verse 10 for me. Okay. Verse 10 for me. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world. Amen. Amen. Now listen. He said, because you have kept my word of patience, I will also 
keep you from the hour of temptation that is coming upon the whole world. That means that an hour, a terrible hour, is coming upon the whole world. But those who keeps the word of God shall be kept by God. Beloved, I keep telling you all the time that God is self marked. Whatsoever you sow, you will reap. Whatsoever you will sow, you will reap. Because he said from the beginning, seed time and harvest time would not cease. So whatever you sow, you reap. So be careful how you carry your life on this word of sin. Our whole life is sowing and reaping. Whatever you sow, that is whatever you plant. That is whatever you do. You will reap it. That is why the word of God keeps coming to us. So that we can change our ways. Because whatever we sow, we reap. I tell you the truth there are so many people when you see their end of days it's terrible I've taken my time I've taken my time to look around I'm that type I always want to make sure that the word of God is true so I try to what I read in the word I try to reflect on the earth and do my search and I tell you the truth. I have seen men and women who lived a wicked life. That their end of days were terrible. Their end terrible. My shame who I wanna want to know you what you mean. No what's in a pun with Timozin. I've seen them. I've seen many of them. Now we have the strength. Now we have the blood flowing through. This is a time you change your mind and serve the Lord rather than doing evil at the time that you have the strength. A time is coming. You will need somebody to carry you. You will need somebody to hold your hands. You will need somebody to lead you to the bathroom. And that will depend on what you sow. When you were strong. When you were a young lady. When you were a young man. When you were the youth. When you have your strength. Do you know the reason why the Bible says that? Remember the Lord your God in the days of your youth. In the days of your youth, when you remember the Lord, you plant a lot of good things in the Lord. So you will reap them in your weak days. This is the time for the youth to understand that the strength that I have today, I have to use it for the Lord. You don't use it for alcohol. You don't use it for drugs. You don't use it for women. You don't use it for unnecessary things. At a certain age is coming. Whereby 
you will need somebody to help you climb even your bed. That will depend on what you sow. That will what? Depend on what you sow. Are you with me, believer? That will depend on what you are sowing. What propone the pussy serano? And the bonnet den. This is a cobble one for sin. And a bottle when you're ma. And now when you're bitter, said ma. I if you know, I shall marry this serano. Won't go grab him. A bra I a pin. A bra and two company. Mediano. Over to my way. That is what we need to think about it. We have not gotten to the judgment of God here on this earth. I saw rich men in those days when we were doing timber. Today, they beg for food. I've seen them. Those who in those days who were riding on Mercedes Benz thought that the whole temporary belongs to them. They were moving the women up and down. They were striving. Speak with authority. Speak with power. Today is terrible. I saw one man on street. Nobody was holding his hand. I knew him in those days. That he was rich. But not even a single person holding his hand on the street. And he was walking miserably. What you saw. God is not mocked. If you come to church. And the preacher man preaches. And the preacher man speaks the word of God to you. Sometimes. We think that. It is becoming too much. What should the preacher man do? The preacher man is supposed to take care of you spiritually and guide you to the glory of God. That is why sometimes I talk about you. In my mind, I may not know, but God will bring you to my lips. So after church service, you will say, the old man, the pastor preached about me. But you know some people to how they take it say the pastor preach about me he uses me to preach so I won't come to church again. Go to work the pastor uses the sea to preach. Go to work the pastor uses the trees to preach. I'm going to show you something in the Bible and let's go to the book of Isaiah chapter 24. The earth has already been planned. So your plan would not work until you go the way of the Lord. Amen. Your plan would not work until you go the way of the Lord. And let's see how God has portioned the earth because of stubbornness and because of wickedness. Amen. Are you there with me? Isaiah 24. Read from verse 1. Let's take the first verse. Behold, but, behold, yes. The Lord maketh the, um, the earth empty and make it, make it waste and turn it upside down and scatter it abroad the inhabitants thereof. Now watch me. Behold, the Lord maketh the earth empty. So who made it? The Lord. Who made it? The Lord. Hmm? And make it waste. Who made it? The Lord. Turn it upside down. And turn it upside down. Who turned the world upside down? The Lord. And scatter abroad the inhabitants thereof. Who did that? The Lord. Good. 
Now this is what he has done. Because of sin and disobedience on this earth. He has pushed it in a way that salvation will come to those who believe. He said, the earth has been turned upside down. It has been empty. And the people have been scattered abroad. They've been scattered. And some came to Nigeria. Some came to Ghana. Some are in the U.S. Some are everywhere. The Lord scattered the people. Do you understand what I'm saying? And the people have been scattered all over the world. But yet, the world that we are living in has been turned upside down. That is why when I preach to you, I tell you that this world isn't getting better. So change your mind and accept Jesus and go with salvation. This world is not getting better. How can you plan in the world that has been turned upside down? How can you put a cup? Don't have cup here. How can you put a cup on this when it is turned upside down? Bring it to me. Let me show them something. Amen. This is your cup of life. Whatever you put in is what you do. But where you place it has been turned upside down. So what's going to happen to it? It will fall. That is why Proverbs says that you can plan, but it's only God that brings it to pass. You see that? Your plan will not come to pass unless you accept Jesus and you walk in the plan of Jesus Christ. Because he said the plan that I have for you is not the plan to destroy you. So it means that sometimes the plan will look at destruction. Like you being destroyed. But he said it's not going to destroy you. That is the plan he had for you. You remember the plan that he had for Joseph? It looked like destruction. Do you understand? But it's a plan of upliftment. He said, the world has been turned upside down. And he has reduced our age from nothing to 120 and from 120 to 70. Our time on the earth. So believer. Listen to me very well. You waste your time here. When you don't give your life to Jesus. To carry it to glory. You are wasting your time here. Because there is nothing better that you can do. The psalmist said it's vanity. The psalmist said what? Vanity. You will toil. You will build houses. You will build companies. And you don't know who is going to take over in the future. Your son will take over fine. You train your son very well. Your son's son will take over and he may not be trained very well and all that you have worked for goes to the drain. That doesn't mean you shouldn't work. You should work and fill the earth but the plan should be in the name of the Lord. 
walking before him for the Lord to perfect your life. Not to a resin in him. The resin says you. Not for who for not condom. The world has been turned upside down. I remember, you remember when I taught you about dreaming that this world is a dream. This world is just a dream. You see yourself buying cars within short time. You close your eyes. You don't see anything again. The next time you see running in the running in the desert, air blowing you, you're running in the desert. Where are you going? You're going for judgment. Submit yourself to the word of God. For God said, I will keep them from the destruction, the temptation that is coming. So if you keep my word, I will also keep you. That is what Jesus says. That's why when I meet God's people, I don't have the ability. It was not given to me. God did not give me oil. He did not give me any herbs. He did not give me ointment to be given to you. He gave me his word. And that is all that I had to give to you. Why and how to live on the earth that is about to be rolled out? You live as sin, you're going to live here forever. And because of that, you trample upon people, you disrespect people, you don't honor anybody, you, you, you speak evil against people, you walk anyhow as if you're going to stay forever. To somebody work out your salvation now. Are you here with me? Are you here with me? Are you here with me? And he said that this is what it's going to be. The earth has been turned upside down. And verse 2, he said what? And it shall be, as with the people, so with the priest. As with the servant, so with his master. Can you take it one after for me? It shall be. As with the people, so with the priest. Today you see that I'm a priest. As I prophesied that. So thousands of years ago. I'm a preacher and you are a people of God. And you can't change the other. Because God has said so. The church cannot be destroyed by the prince of this earth and the authorities of this earth. They can't. They may try and they are trying, but it is not possible. Look at that simple coronavirus that the Lord threw out to the world. Do you understand? Up to date, they can find a solution. Their eyes have been blindfolded and they think that it is a natural disaster or atmospheric sicknesses. No! They don't want to honor Jesus. His words that he said in the book of 24 Matthew, they don't want to honor Jesus but Jesus said it, it shall come to pass. He has planned his world already. That's what he said. No, or the woman does of no tea and I said, No, the nun to a corner of what Padua Piscay went to me. Pastor, there are so many ways of getting money from the people, 
But one thing they don't think about it is judgment. All pastors who sell in the house of God, the word of God, one word of God will judge them and knock them down. He said, freely you receive, freely you give it out. You say that it's from God, then it's free. And he said that give it out. You are saying the beifunku is from God. You are saying it. Then give it out freely. They can't give it out freely because they bought it and they have to sell it. Don't let your faith waver. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. These are the three things man is looking for. Life, truth, and the way to glory. Jesus said, I am. If you will check his word, he said, I will keep you from the hour of temptation. That is coming upon the whole world. And there shall be a prince. And there shall be a people. Come on, read it, Pastor. As with a servant, so with his master. It means that some on this earth are going to be servants. And some are going to be masters. Aren't we seeing them? Oh, come on, talk to me, believer. Aren't we seeing them? Then some are servants. And some are masters. That is his plan for the wicked world that is the plan that the lord has laid for the wicked world so that men will know that he is god and run to him his word does not just drop out of him whatever he said no man can tell it that makes him god and it shall be as with the people so with the priest as with the servant, so with the master. As with the maid, so with her mistress. Oh, come on, we have a lot of maids here. Even from the days of Abraham. We have maids. Mm -hmm. So some are born to be what? Can you change it? But I'll show you something. There's a way. For maids who come to the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. When men come to the house of the Lord, you receive the seed of Abraham and become a family of Abraham. Amen. And you depart from the presence of Abraham with blessing. Yes, Lord. An angel who go with you because you have been accepted. Hallelujah. So you know what he said? In his plan, he planned for the servant, he planned for the maid. He did not overlook them. His eyes are set on servant and maid, I tell you. That the poor ones. He said, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. The young ones, the maids, and the servants will prophesy. It means that when I come to dwell on men, I don't consider men or master. I dwell in all of them. Those who believe in my name. So they're going to be made. And they're going to be saved. I've met a lot of servants and maids during my preaching time. And today I've seen maid and servants Riding in horses. They've been lifted. Because they recognize. The king of kings. And the lord the lord. And the creator of the universe. And the one that makes people. Are you here? Yes. So have you seen mates on the earth? Yeah. So his mistress. As with the buyer, as so with the buyer, with the seller. You see that? 
Can you stop buying? Can you stop selling? It's forever. Even when the devil comes, they'll be buying a seller. He has planned his word already. What's your shenu at the Navy? My home. I see people struggle and they get to a point, they get stuck. They couldn't move again. And they said, It's a witch. No! Your plan didn't work. It's not a witch. It can't work. Now, study much about the plans of 2020. The whole world had a beautiful plan for 2020 and about. You remember that? And then they had the plan and they were ready to execute the plan and the plan didn't work. Common coronavirus stopped the plan. Tell me you are man. Tell me you are on top. Tell me you are the highest. Tell me you are the strongest. Before God, you are nothing. Coronavirus stopped their plan. And they started using all the monies they stole from Africa. They will use them. Do you understand? Hey, you cannot have your plan in the world planned already. The best way to live is to give all that to Jesus. And let Jesus carry you through. Jesus got to a point. Can I tell you about my Jesus? Can I tell you about my Jesus? In the plan, Jesus was supposed to come to the earth and to die for me and you. Hmm? He put on the flesh of a man and he was called the son of man. And one we knew that he was God manifested in the flesh. Now he came to the earth. He ate our food. He came from the womb of a woman. And it was time for his destiny to be fulfilled. He knew the time was so close. So Jesus was trying to pray against his own plan. I say his own plan because he's God. Father, if it will be possible, take this cup from me. It's not in the plan. He cried for the second time. Father, take this cup from me. No answer. Because it's not in the plan. Then Jesus made it this way. Father, let your will be there. That is the plan. And then the father released angels. Who made you say your will be there? Then the angels came. And strengthen him to go to it. You see, your plan doesn't work and it will not work. Even Jesus' plan did not work on the earth because there's a law of God on the earth. He said, Take this cup from me. You know what he was teaching us how to pray? You heard Jesus saying that let the will of God in heaven be done on the earth. Yes, that is it. You can't change it. You cannot change it. I'm admonishing you to go the way of the Lord and you will prosper. When Jesus said let your will be done, he is now on high. Above. And he has been raised against all principalities, all powers, all forces. If you will do his will, if you come under his plan and do his will, you'll be raised above all powers. You know what he 
told what he told the father he said father wherever I am let my people also be with me is that how we're going to stay you're going to stay there can you tell me more as as with the lender so with the borrower you see some people are going to borrow and they are borrowing borrowing from bank mm-hmm mm-hmm Borrowing from individuals. But I have seen a woman that borrowed to take care of a son. And the son became a mighty engineer to erase the poverty in that house. Hallelujah. You know what Jesus said? He said, The poor will be with you. Forever. So don't be moved. When a pastor comes in. That I'm going to give you something. You drink. You put on you. Your poverty will change. It's not correct. The Lord has a plan for the poor people. They're coming a giant out of the poor. They're coming a rich man out of the poor. They're coming a rich woman out of the poor. The Lord take care of them. And he will supply their need. Are you with me, believer? Yes, Are you learning? Yes, as a Oh, bread no at it so. Missy, I'm pa, and listen to this as with the taker of usury mm -hmm. so with the giver of usury to him mm -hmm. could you read it the land shall be utterly empty and utterly spoiled for the lord has spoken this word you see that mm -hmm. the land will utterly be empty and utterly be destroyed the lord has spoken this is where you put your trust This is the place. This is where you wouldn't talk to me. This is where we will fight. This is where we will mishandle the needy and the poor. This is where we will be wicked, unhuman. What you are proud of, your houses and buildings, you will be ruled. And they will also be robbed. But think of it. In the plan, there is judgment. There's somebody in the plan, there is judgment. When you are in the plan, you are in the plan. You are in the plan. You are Amen. I know him there at the Mudar channel. Now go go we are the make a tunnel above him and then say, Be no deceitful, no, or cause a shame, no gankitin. Cause but to a yea, why ye? Doctors be sending tabbit money. Report what the Kodoko 
kumbini. Ntoke den. Ame. Dr. Zbizian de abitu maneye. Opero ye report asama watu. Nodu kuhu kumbini. Awa chaba kene. Ame. God is not man. So ever you sow, so shall you reap it. Amen. And then he said, the earth shall utterly be destroyed. Spoken by the word of God. The earth what? The earth moaneth. And what? And faded away. You see? You see there is an end to this world. Mm -hmm. The earth moaneth and faded away. The world languishes. Oh, the Lord, the world languishes. And faded away. And faded away. The haughty people. The haughty the people are whom do for no. Do language. Of the earth. Where will you be back? The haughty people. Who look down upon the needy and the poor. And think that they are on top. Who uses money to maneuver. And put the poor out of judgment. And out of justice, the law said they will come to nothing. I'm seeing them. As for me, I watch you. I'm seeing a lot of people because of time. I can't, con I can't continue. I'll meet you again for part three. Now look at this before we go. Look at it before we go. Pastor, I want you to read verse 9 for me. Verse 9. They shall not drink wine with song, with a song, sorry. I take it again. They shall not drink wine with a song. Strong drink shall be bitter to them that drink it. Amen. The city of confusion. The city of confusion is, is broken, broken down. down. Every house is shut up, that no man may come in. Happy joy is shut up in the streets. Do you know that? Joy yes. is shut up in the street. In old days, in the old days, I didn't. I'm not old, too old, but I saw that at any time you can walk on the street with your bag around you. To the go in the night with your bag. If you will come with your bag, praise God that they wouldn't even add your hand to it. There's no joy in the street. You'll be in your house, somebody will break through, put a gun on you, take everything that you want, and even tell you to carry them outside for him. You ride in your beautiful car, and somebody stops you with a gun, get out of the car. He takes the car, all your sweat. He takes the car away. You will not drink wine with a song. Wine is the joy of God. The joy of the spirit. Everybody is living in fear. That is the world that you live in. You know that. Listen to what God said. Before I go down. Listen to. What God said in verse 11. There is a crying for wine in the streets. There is. People are crying for joy. Debating on television. Shouting against president. Talking anyhow. Trying to restore. The joy back to the street it will not work for the Lord has said so thank to the Lord for God to keep you all joy is darkened read that all joy is darkened see that the myth of the land is gone the what the myth of the land is what gone, gone. 
that we give the land taste, that we give the land joy, is gone. Now you know what we call joy today. What we call joy is finding a woman, going to disco, coming to a hotel, sleep, have some fun, and then leave them, get some drugs, and then take it, sleep with a woman, a man's a woman sleeping with a woman, a man sleeping with a man. This is what we call joy today. But the real joy that God places in man is taken away. And even those that live in that nature are in terrible states. That is where they get their kidneys failure. That's why they get their diseases. That's why you see men putting on pampers. That's why see, even that, that they call it joy. They got the maximum destruction. Change. 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 And be a good Christian. Forget about this world. You understand? Because of my shop, because of my store, because of my business, because of this, I can't go to the presence of God. One day, you will take your last breath and the owner of the business will come and take it. You are not the owner. Don't let anything hold you back from God. Do the business and serve the Lord. Work hard and serve the Lord. Balance yourself and be on track. Can I hear amen? amen? Can I hear amen? amen? As the time, I want to leave. I'll continue, okay? Okay. I'll continue. I'll continue. Amen. Amen. There is a crying for wine in the streets. All joy is darkened. The middle of the land is cold. Hallelujah. Now read verse 19 for me. Verse 19. The earth is utterly broken down. The earth is already broken down. The earth is clean dissolved. The earth is what? Dissolved. The earth is moving exceedingly. It's moved exceedingly. The earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard. Oh man. That is what is happening now. That's where the earth now moves. Steady. <laughs> you, you know, moose like a drunkard, and you live in it. It has been turned upside down, and it's moving like a drunkard. Then you got a plan in this. Your plan wouldn't work. The best way, Jesus said, take up your cross and follow me. He will lead you to the righteousness. He is a lamp unto that path. He will guide you. He will protect you. He will take you through. He shall cover you. He will keep you from the enemy. From the powers of darkness. From destruction. And he will save you from this world of sin. That is our Jesus. That is our God. He says, in the midst of all this, I will look up to my children and I will keep them. In the midst of all things, he said, I will make a way for my children to escape sovereign God. Have you seen the word? And all what he sees spoken here, is it true? It's all future, it's happening. It's happening. It's on it. Hmm? He said, Joy will be taken away 
and the street will be desolate. When I started watching 2019, when the world had a plan for 2020, and then I started watching 2019, where those who have the plan for 2020 are locked out in their rooms and they look through the window to see the world. Wallumpoo. Wallumpoo. And this should make the believers strong. Because all that your God said has come to pass. So therefore you can faithfully serve him on what he has said about you. That you can escape the judgment of this world. That you can be preserved. The Lord preserve my soul. Somebody say that. If I'm to talk, I'll talk. Out to the evening. I'll meet you next week. And I'll top up for you. The Lord be with you. In the midst of problem. In the midst of hardship. In the midst of darkness. The Lord name be glorified. The Lord be a lamp unto thy path. His word keep you. The Lord protect you. And send his glory upon you. Be kept. Be protected. In Jesus name. Amen. Come on praise the name of the Lord.